Things are going well, aren't they? What's your problem this time? Disney Marley's problem is he's going to get back to making sketches about politics. We're not starting this again. Oh, don't give me that. I'm so depressed about the state of French politics, pish. You're going to tell me you're not depressed? You're going to tell me that, oh, this is just, just fine? No, you're right. It's pretty fucked, isn't it? Oh. Not you as well, right? You two need to look on the bright side. A Labour government is coming, right? The future's bright. The future's going to future. It's as well been fucking orange at this point. <laughs> Did somebody say something? Oh, for fuck's sake. Go away. Oh, that's lovely. So much for your civic and joyous nationalism. Fuck off. Nothing could make me leave. <gasps> My eyes! My beautiful British eyes! <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with you two. Prime Minister Keir Starmer, I mean, can you imagine it? We are! That's the problem! What? He can... He, he's got qualities. Aye, cause he's in the Guinness Book of World Records for most flip-flops in a single parliamentary term. You two have been far too negative. Keir Starmer is miles ahead of Rishi Sunak. Rishi Sunak has more charisma than Keir Starmer and that posh cunt doesn't even know how to use a fucking chip and pin machine! I mean... At least we'll have a Labour government. I in name only. What are you talking about? Keir Starmer's policies are great. They're just Rishi Sunak's policies, but we a red rosette on them. That bland thunderbird has backpedaled so much that quite frankly, I'm surprised he's no met Marty McFly's maw. But Labour are leading in the polls. Out of sheer disgust at the Tories and fuck all else. Even a James Corden political party would be 20 points ahead against the Tories. That's really r r I think you might be right. Oh, it's all gone to shit, isn't it? Every slimeball careerist politician promising change can't even put the ball in the back of an empty fucking net. I mean, there's always Scottish politics. I need a drink. What, are you not happy to see the SNP finally getting humbled? Of course we are, but what comes next? Scottish Labour? Jesus Christ, I've changed my mind. Em to get smack. Scottish Labour have changed. How? Because that's what they keep saying. They're just the same bunch of selfish bootlicking bastards that they've always been. I bet they don't even change their underwear without asking if Keir Starmer's alright, but... Can my guy come round the new? I mean, there's always the Alba. Aye, alright, mate. You, you get in harder than smack. Alba? What? It's just filled with people doing the exact same shit that they've been criticising the SNP supporters for doing. It's fucking insanity! It's not! I mean, I'm sure they've got new, exciting, radical ideas on how to take things forward. I'm not sure trying to contact the spirit of the Bruce Fee at a Ouija board and then holding hands and waving salt tires next to a fucking canal can count as radical. I mean, it's definitely out of the box thinking. More that like inside of the padded cell thinking. They're not that bad. Alba can, you know, at least they can take a joke. What is this? Oh, here we fucking go. Oh, a secret meeting of traitors to Scotland doing down the magnificent Alba party, is it? We are, minute. We aren't you in the SNP until like three Mondays ago. Never are. I would never be seen dead in that party of traitors to Scotland. You're still wearing your SNP lanyard. No, I am not. Anyway, the SNP is full of full of Nicholas Sturgeon loyalists who could never take criticism and who always thought that she had a super secret plan when she did not. I mean, they're animated, if nothing else. Only Alba can lead Scotland to freedom and unchain the unicorn. See? It's the definition of madness. Only now a retro 1970s nationalist aesthetic. I mean, disco could make a comeback. We just don't know. I'm getting bad vibes from this. You all sound like yun traitors. Oh, are you still doing that whole thing, are you? Oh. You, you poor thing. Alex Hammond is a genius. He has a plan. He's playing seventh dimension chess. That's plenty. <laughs> fentanyl. Tell your guy we want some fentanyl. Yo, yo, I'm in the light at the end of the tunnel. Paper stacks, yeah, I got them in the bundles. Harry Potter breaking bread with the muggles. They said I wouldn't make it. Now they looking puzzled. They said I wouldn't take it. How to go and hustle. 